the best tip you can do to help activate your feminine energy as a mother so you feel more balanced, feel more in flow and ultimately feel more happy. Hello beautiful mamas, welcome back to another video. My name is Christina for those that are new and I empower mums to discover themselves again in motherhood and reclaim their power. As mums, we tend to be out of balance between our masculine and our feminine energy. One tends to be all the way up here and the other tends to be down here. So we're always kind of juggling between these like masculine and feminine energies. And our masculine energy is the one that makes us take action. The masculine energy is the one that makes us feel that we have to get everything done in the short amount of time that we have which is majority of the time as mothers as I'm sure you know but to feel more happy and just balance between our masculine and feminine energies we need to activate more of our feminine energy as mothers and the best tip you can use to activate that is tapping into your mother's instinct that mother's intuition this is divine feminine energy energy intuition is our guidance system it's that flowing and us making decisions based on our own internal guidance system and every man and woman has intuition like I said it's just what guides us and it makes us feel what is good for us what is bad for us and I believe a mother's instinct her intuition is the strongest form of intuition this is at its strongest when she feels that her child is going to be unwell. A mother's intuition will be able to predict that her child is going to be unwell and she uses this as her guidance to be able to nurture her child back to health again. And when I first became a mum, when my son was born, I had extreme anxiety. I do not want to ever feel that again. I do not wish that on anybody. And I was experiencing this anxiety because my mother's instinct was screaming at me that there was something not quite right with my son. So he began to display a number of symptoms. He would have a regular breathing. He then at three months started gasping in his sleep. He always kind of had this cough, which he did have reflux, so that probably was why. But he also made this weird like hiccuping, squeaking noise in his throat as well whilst he sleeps and because we bed share um, I'm the only one that was witnessing this nobody else was witnessing this so everybody was making me feel like I was going crazy like this wasn't happening but time and time again my mother's intuition was telling me something is not right and eventually after pushing, he was seen by an ENT consultant where um, he had to have like one of those cameras put up his nose and down his throat. And yeah, they said he had a mild form of lowering malaysia, which is just a floppy larynx. It's like the muscle in the larynx is not developed yet. And he also had silent reflux. And this is just something that eventually he outgrows. He, I think he still has it a little bit, but uh, it was kind of a relief, <laughs> but that's the perfect example of mother's instinct, that intuition that is telling you something is not right. So how can you allow that mother's intuition to come in more, allowing that feminine energy to guide you more as a mother? So this is about following your values, following your values as a mother, what feels right for you and your child, your family, and not letting anybody else take your power away by telling you what is best for your child. You know your child best, and it's allowing that connection between you and your child to, yeah, to feel that mother's intuition so you're able to guide you more and tap more into that feminine energy and activate that feminine energy because you use nurture and connection with your child and because you know your child best you know their desires their wants their needs their personalities their love language you're able to use that mother's intuition to guide you to nurture your child and nurture is more 
feminine energy too. So you're telling me it's not natural for me. I don't feel mother's instinct. It's not natural. It doesn't come to me naturally. I My best tip here is to spend more time connecting with your child in the present moment, discovering what they like, what they dislike, and getting to know your child so you can, yeah, use your mother's instincts of what is right for your child and what's right for you. It's about listening to your body, what feels really good for, in your body when you think of something, what you want for you as a mother and for your children, what feels good or what feels bad. Does your body tense up when someone's giving you advice or they're telling you, go and do this, go and do that, and it just doesn't feel right. So this is your intuition. Your body is telling you something that doesn't feel right. And it just takes practice to listen and to be more calm and quiet, to listen to that intuition and really feel that and be able to use that as your own internal guidance system to, yeah, direct your family in ways that is more um, align in alignment with what you are as a mother and in alignment with that feminine energy too. If you want to feel more empowered as a mum, confident, connected to yourself and your body, connected to your children, you can download my motherhood empowerment affirmations. It's an MP3 and it's absolutely free. And you can just start listening to that today. I've listened to it when I've been sleeping. I've listened to it when I've been driving and I've listened to it when I've been doing the housework. So you can listen to it at any point and you just listen to the affirmations and it helps to make those new neural pathways to help reprogram the mind so you can just click the link in the pinned comments below and you can listen to that today but with that being said I will see you on the next video much love